Hello. We have arrived. <laughs> we have arrived. Yes. After a great deal of technical uh, <laughs> brouhaha, we are here. We are here to play the drinky game. And uh, you, what you missed was I forgot to save the game, so I sped ran through day eight. Yep. What you also missed was uh, me trying to perform some sort of dark ritual to attempt to get my... <laughs> oh, oops, I forgot to... The game's not there. Hold on. <laughs> yes, perform a dark ritual to attempt to get as much performance out of my poor, poor PC as possible. Uh, and it simply yes. did not did not work. Did not work right. properly. Uh, so you see the game now? Um, I do not. Oh. Uh, yeah, that is unusual. Give me... Hold on. That's not it. This? No, that's... Um... Hmm. Why is it not... Uh, that should... Okay, yeah, it's not uh, capturing Parsec for whatever reason. Concerning. Uh, this is okay, why okay. we. This All is right. why we figured this we got shit it. out. Oh, okay. It's capturing parsec now, but it's very small for some reason. Uh, let's fix that. I think there's only one thing that they added to the dangerous section of the phone. So mm -hmm. we can just read that. All right. Let me know when you're ready. <laughs> it shouldn't be too much longer. Uh oh. I didn't get the results of the poll. What did everyone po vote for? Madrosity, did you vote for milk chocolate? Or no, you voted for dark chocolate, I think. Why is... I think though I think I think the winner was like dark chocolate. Hold on. I What's think up? What's up? Something I think something's wrong with my uh, stream setup because I've got my resol. There's something wrong with my resolution, maybe because I've got like the game like source at like fifteen, fifteen like like about fifteen thousand uh, pixels wide, and uh, it's taking up less than less than an eighth of my screen. I would say. <laughs> so I think somehow I've managed to massively inflate the resolution of my like canvas somehow I this is going great. <laughs> I cannot possibly begin to <laughs> describe what is what I have done and why it is happening uh but we're going to live with it I guess this is a problem that I will fix another time because we do not have All time right. for it now I just gotta let's do this we've just got to play the hand we're dealt as they say yes yes all right let's go oh <laughs> okay i think we're good yes we're good, we're good. Yeah, 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 yeah. all right here we go yeah i think didn't or no yeah never mind you can continue we're good all right yeah, we're good all right uh it was unrelated to what we're what's going on here AM Township 64. Hype. Literally no games. Is anyone else tired of this Monster Girl meme? No, no, no. I'm going to marry a Monster Girl. <laughs> I just want actual gameplay next time. Why would you want a gameplay in a Sukabon game? I don't know. All that I see is pretty girls with nothing to back it up. For I feels desire to cry. I don't know why I've been feel I haven't been why I've been feeling good. Oh wait. You mean not feeling good or feeling good i mean if you're feeling good that's i guess happy tears are great <laughs> but i'm sorry if you're not feeling good all right thanks for stopping by fruit rat love you um oh, well any of the fun not good cry okay it's probably going to be yet another underpowered piece of shit. man i think i'm just going to quit gaming nothing but trash of late yeah, remember when games were actually good and Des made it with made them with love and care? Me neither. This is just 
straight up 4chan. It really is. <laughs> and that that's um that's all that. And there's news. Soccer popularity soccer popularity sinks as Pro Wrestling Rises as by Lana Smithy. Once known as the king of sports, soccer is no longer even a shadow of its former self. After the corruption scandals of the last World Cup, fans have begun drifting towards the theatrical magic of the pro wrestling industry. The latest GSF tournament pulled nearly 20 million viewers from Glitch City alone. As of this Impressive. moment, fan, fans seem to be vastly favoring pro, pro, pro wrestling. It's easier to follow something we know is predetermined as opposed to someone that pretends to be a legit sport, said a fan of outside of the GSF arena. People kicking a ball is boring as shit, too. Wow. I prefer people kicking each other. <laughs> uh, I don't ever see that happen ever. <laughs> um, you want to read this one? Sure. Quincy, I certainly like fried chicken. During our weekly interview with Prime Minister Quincy, he revealed his unusual taste for a certain rare food, fried chicken. I know it sounds a bit rude to say I like something most people don't have access to, but I just can't deny my love for it. When you taste a chicken breast like the ones that Kenta make, you can't j you can't eh, you just can't go back, Quincy declared to the augmented eye. In other news, Quincy also confessed his desire to ban instant food, though he later said it was in jest. I wouldn't ban instant food since that eh, eh, that's what people in this city like the most, even though I hate it. No, I wouldn't ban it. Is Quincy an AI? I believe so. <laughs> I, I think that's I, I think that's been established. That's so weird that the 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 mayor of this fucking city is an AI. I love that. Listen, there's a lot of there's a lot of weird things in this city. That's probably the least weird thing in the city. True. Okay, you're right. You're right. Absolutely right. That's fair. <laughs> Monster Girlfriend Chirari becomes the most best-selling video game of all time. The waifu Impressive. revolution from the 2010s is no longer a laughing matter. What started out as a trend since got gone out of control since the standardization of VR technologies, <laughs> which allows people to live full time inside their computers. What? <laughs> as a result of this craze, it shouldn't be a huge surprise to know that the popular Monster Girlfriend franchise has become a commercial juggernaut with millions of copies shipped in Glitch City alone. Worldwide, the game has shipped nearly 90 million copies since its launch in, launch in March, making it a record holder that won't quit. Is the waifu age real? Well, there's your answer. Oh. I I don't know what to think of the feature. <laughs> it is a dark and dismal place. The future that I'm from isn't like that. In case you were wondering. Oh, okay. All right. So there's no, uh, there's no just VR people walking around with VR headsets uh, admiring fake waifus. Monster waifus. No, gotcha. we haven't rediscovered that technology yet. <laughs> gotcha. Good evening. Ah, Jill. Good timing. Is it? You two always make me feel like I'm late. If it helps, that dog isn't coming to some time later. Anyway, you have something planned for Sunday? Watch silly mega Christmas specials with 1,000 grams of black fur on my lap. Why? I was thinking about holding a small mega Christmas party here this Sunday. You in? Sure. Why not? All right. Invite any client you're acquainted with. The more the merrier. You didn't bring your cat today? The raid stopped. I found whatever or whoever they were looking for. Huh. Anyways, we better start work. Yeah, you better. <laughs> Let's go. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Welcome to Valha. Mm. Oh, this um, is a new person. Um, do, do you want me to voice or? I'll take him. Okay. I want a fluffy dream. Your head's full of fluffy dreams. 
May I see your ID, please? I don't have an ID because, um... I'm the ghost of Mega Christmas Past. Excuse me? I'll haunt you constantly unless you give me a fluffy dream. You have money to pay for the drinks. Well, I... Do you? Yes, I, I have money. Uh, the girl asked for a fluffy dream, but she's got to be crazy if she thinks she's getting alcohol so easily. Um, I think probably we're not supposed to give her a fluffy dream. Eh, I guess we don't optional. need to put Karma Trin in. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay, uh, Potter Delta. We got to keep and things above board around here. Yes, all aged and mixed. There we go. Here you go. Wow, I actually got a drink. So, who are you here to stalk, Miss Ghost of Mega Christmas Past? Stalk? Oh, right, I'm a ghost. Uh, that guy. Yeah. Which employee did you leave without a mega Christmas, Jill? Jill, please. It would have been funny if he reacted to that. <laughs> Sorry, kid. I'm not in the mood to humor you, today, uh, humor, you, humor you today unless you have some sort of ID. Here. Well, in a year or so, it will gladly serve you a drink. But until then, this is no place for you. But I already got a drink. A non-alcoholic one. You didn't expect me to really give you a drink, right? Uh... So, if you would please leave... I can't leave. Not after trying so hard to even get here. No. Alright, let's start from the beginning, miss. Norma? How did you know my name? Probably because you handed her your ID. <laughs> did you think? I saw, you, or I saw your ID. Could have been a fake ID. <laughs> <laughs> she said exactly what I was thinking. I don't think you're stupid enough to make a fake ID if that doesn't put you at 18 at very least. You're very sharp, bartender. <laughs> you look like a nice girl, Norma. Why come to a bar like this? Uh... Um... You seem like you're in a bad mood, Miss Bartender. Eh, she's just <laughs> like that all the time. Shut up. Uh, sorry if I've been harsh. These past couple of days have been heavy. And having someone underage here reminds me of a certain incident from last week. Incident? Well, don't change the subject, young lady. Why did you come here? What do you care? I can do whatever I want. Unless it's illegal, in which case anyone can, should, and probably will stop you. <sighs> I just... Just wanted to be more wild, you know? Wild? My mom puts way too many expectations on my shoulders. I've always been out to make sure I don't disappoint her. But it's never enough. It's not good enough to have good grades. She also wants me to go out and take a college preparation course. And I'm tired. I don't want to do things for her anymore. The angst. So you came to a bar. Maybe if I came back home smelling like alcohol, she would leave me alone. I'm not good enough for her. I might as well kill any hope she has in me. It's funny. I had a friend who was also being pressured by her mother. Really? Yeah, but in her case, it's being pressured to settle down and form a family. Oh. Uh. So, let me get this straight. You came here to make your mother disappointed? Yes. Do you like alcohol? 
Actually, I think it's nasty. Then you're doing things wrong. What? If you're going to disappoint your mom, at least do it with something you like. Like, become a belly dancer because you want to be a belly dancer. On brand with Otherwise, the previous just... game you were playing? Yes, yeah, very on brand. <laughs> Otherwise, you're just trying to hurt her for the sake of hurting her. Let's start with something. All right? All right. Jill, Jill's going to help you out. What do you like doing? I don't know. I've been so focused on trying to be good enough, I've been able to, I haven't been able to think about what I want to do. Don't you think you should start there? Huh? What good is doing something just for the sake of hurting someone? If she gets disappointed in you over something you like doing, you have the right to protest. But if you're hurting her by hurting yourself over something you don't enjoy... <sighs> Sounds silly, huh? Very. Go home. Do some self-discovery before hurting your mom, would you? Or at the very least, humor her until you're old enough to move out. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Miss Bartender. Call me Jill. Jill? Alright. Careful out there. In the end, you did humor her for a bit. Shut up. Oh, a doggy. Hello, little girl. Hello, little girl. It's me, the Red Sheba. <laughs> oh, shit. G and J, how you doing? <laughs> I so want to voice this guy. I want to voice him so bad. I'm sorry. G I I'll say this only once. G and J, how you doing, bros? I'll allow it. <laughs> You're late. Miss me, Jay? Uh, you're too early. Ah, good to see you here. Boss, will there be any good around here? Will he be any good around here? I'm right here. I know. Of course. Spent a lot of time training him. Why do you think he didn't show up last week? Because how the hell would I know you're bringing a part-timer dog? Here, let me show you. Sit. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> Roll. Sir, yes, sir. Ah. Sir, yes, sir. Training. Of course. Of course. He's only showing, he's only shouting, sir, yes, sir, and not doing anything else, though. I never said I did a perfect job. Hmm. Is that a motorcycle? Oh. <laughs> hey, not in my office. In the end, he's just a dog, I guess. Is that oh. Canada? I was gonna say he looks he looks a bit like uh the guy from the guy from Akira, yes. Yeah, it's Gana it's Canada. <laughs> I have not I have not seen Akira, I must ad, I must admit. Yes. Would you like to take this individual? That didn't. Oh, sorry, it's only for clients. Uh um promise me you'll buy something afterwards. It's that of door over there. Who exactly are you? <laughs> the other one. Hey. Said get out of my desk. But the world's ending. It was just a motorcycle. <laughs> They're the four riders then. Those are horsemen and it already stopped. Wait, it already stopped? The motorcycle, I would what? assume. Wait, she said the four horsemen, but they already stopped. The four horsemen come? What the fuck? What the fuck? I, I <laughs> assume she was to... referring to the motorcycle having already stopped. Are you sure about that? Because I mean, that, that can be... Uh, leave, that, that phrase is can be left open to interpretation. 
meaning one or the other. <laughs> Fair enough. We'll have to we'll have to review the tapes. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, holy shit. Thanks. Don't mention it. I need to buy something now, right? Oh no, you don't have to. Sorry if it looked like I meant to inconvenience you. No, I'll order something. I need a rest anyways. What can I get you? A uh, piano woman. Sit. Would be nice. Sorry, didn't hear you. <clears throat> I'll have a Mars Blast. Uh, sure. A Mars Blast for Biker Guy. I think he said Piano Woman first, though. He definitely said Piano Woman first. I'm going to give him a Piano Woman. Absolutely. One, two, Should not be three, ashamed. four, five. Oh. Nope. Almost went too much uh, uh, Bronson. Yeah. And three Karma Trend. Aged and mixed. Oh. Very good, very good. Here. You look happy. Shut up. Is that motorcycle out there yours, Mr... Call me Mario. And yes, it's mine. Mario? Huh. Yeah, I'm gonna turn you up a little bit on my end, Sheps. You're a little bit quiet. Okay. I'm like right next to my mic. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It's a me, Mario. And yes, it's mine. Okay, there we go. Sorry we should for be the good. noise. Well, don't worry. It's not like you stayed outside for too long or anything. So, what do you work as? Oh, what do you work as, Mario? I live, I live to paint. Oh, wait, you're right. You're, oh. you're do <laughs> uh, I don't know yeah, why I, I thought I, doing... it was his voice. I got distracted by changing my audio settings. <laughs> you're, anyway, you're continue. I live to paint the roads black with my wheels, live in the trail of my engine sound wherever I go. I'm a rebel. Fuck the red lights. Fuck the speed limits. Fuck the helmet laws. The roads are mine and mine only. I am. This, this is you. Oh, right. <laughs> you guys, I'm going outside with the dog. We'll advertise the bar. Hello, doggy. Hello, shady guy. Shady? I'll be back before you're long. Don't worry. All right. Careful. Who is she? Oh, she's my boss. She was cute. And not that you're not cute. And it's not like I'm into, not a, I'm into girls either. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that, I just... <laughs> so, where do you work, Mario? Nice segue. I told you, I'm a rebel. I... Rebels can't maintain those bikes for too long. What's your day job? I'm a delivery boy. That's really Perfectly appropriate, reasonable. I guess. What do you deliver? I'm from a courier company, so it's kind of like mail, I guess. I always... I'm always around the city, and I know it's like the palm of my hand. Sure, I might not remember every building, but I remember every intersection, every street. That's nice. I still can't take detours without feeling totally lost. Try guiding yourself with the help of the landmarks. Around here, the saber stations are antennas, a good reference. I mean, what, are, what do I care? Fix that yourself, bitch. I love Mario's how trying I a little bit too hard to be a badass. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of cute, actually. Do you want anything else, Mario? I guess the moon blast would be nice. Moon blast. Uh, gut punch. Yeah, that one. I'm going to give him a Mars blast or a moon blast. I thought he was a mispronounced Mars blast. I'm going to give him a moon blast. Some sort of blast. Yes. And uh, a planner guide. Don't forget the powder delta. Powder delta. And the karma tree. Sweet girly happy. I'm pretty I sure he asked for good. a moon blast. 
and uh, mix all, all the rocks and blend it. Yep. There we go. Okay. All right. Here. Yeah. <laughs> this is good. It's a moon blast. Uh, uh, I mean, I, I, no, never mind. It's terrible. It's awful. It tastes bad. <laughs> <laughs> Say, Mario, why do you try so hard to keep up with that tough guy image? It isn't working? Not really. Maybe when you arrived and had to go to the bathroom, but after that, you just look cute. Cute. So why do it? Vikings are supposed to be scary, right? Rebels that cause trouble and ride free from society's ties. If we applied that brand of logic here, I should be wearing one third of my clothes and lighting Franks on fire. I guess. You can do whatever you want and dress however you want. It's just that you look like you're trying so hard. Like you don't really enjoy that. It's not a lie. Who says you can't dress as a biker and still be a nice kid? Yeah, but other bikers. That sounded like someone, something someone in high school would say. Ugh. It's just a vice. Don't take it too personally. Oh, you're right. I don't have to be that way. Unless you want to. I ain't stopping there. Yeah, but I don't. It's tiring and I don't feel good. If you want, you can try to stay quiet. You were pretty intimidating when you did that. I see. Uh, will you have another drink, or did you have too many already? I can handle another one. Give me a French viewer. Sure. He actually asked for a French viewer instead of just something normally. Good for him. We're helping oh. a lot of people uh, di with self-discovery today, it would seem. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a that's a strong ass drink. That is a pretty strong drink. Holy shit! I don't think I think he's gonna. My guess is he's gonna like spit it out. <laughs> well, we'll find out, I guess. Here. Yep, that's the one. Thanks. Say that guy over there. Gil? What's up with him? Are you dating him? No. Is he seeing anyone? He's gay! He's gay! <laughs> Happy days! Yes, another another gay in the wild. I love to see it. You love to see it, folks. As far as I know. Do you think he... He... he. No, never mind. I said nothing. Thank you for everything. Oh, that was so adorable. <laughs> Please come again. Mm. Ah, Gil, you're heartbreaking. You heartbreaking fuckboy. <laughs> huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I'll be taking my break now, Gil. Okay. Uh, careful. I... <laughs> Man, Gil's gonna have one one interesting, confusing Jill's break time today. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna save. I'm gonna make sure I save today. Mm -hmm. All right. Ah, like, In the far that's one of my favorite year of 2023. It's my that's one of my favorite characters so far. Glad that they made oh, every Mario? appearance. Yeah. Yeah. Or Billy didn't smell like poo today. That's a new one. The homeless, <laughs> I'm assuming. The homeless man. Maybe. Uh, I don't. Have, has Billy been mentioned before? I don't recall anyone named Billy. Uh, I think Billy was mentioned as like a homeless vagrant that li that like sits outside Valhalla. <laughs> Fair enough. Pretty sure. All right, back to business. Back. Any luck? I managed to give out some flyers, but most people were distracted by the dog. 
I had to tell them to go to the Red Sheba bar to get their attention. Oh. Anyway, I'm back to my office. You stay here. Fine. <laughs> yes, Dorothy, do I... if you would... Yes, Dorothy is you. The door opens, and the crowd goes wild when they see... What's up, oh, little girl? What are you doing in a bar? More like that wasn't a that wasn't a good ah uh, that was a <laughs> Yeah, I think I think your your mic's cutting out a little bit, or at least I'm not hearing it on my end because it yeah, when you when you uh, tried to do your ah uh, 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 dog. Ah uh, dog. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent delivery. Ah uh, dog. Uh, uh, honey, some help here. Hey, dog. I heard cats in the alley. Really? I'll go check them out. <laughs> wow, you really are bad with dogs, huh? Did I make it too obvious? Why, though? I don't know. Oh, hey, John. Hey. I think it's because I got that trait at random. When AIs are created, they're given fears or tastes completely at random. I just happen to get stuck with the fear of dogs and chinchillas. That's very specific. Chinchillas are extinct, though. Thank gods. What will you have? Well, it's that time of the month, so I'll have a Bleeding Jane. The robots? They... Okay. Um... Um, uh, I'm, I'm not going to complete that thought. Uh, anyway, time of the month? It's uh, the time anyway, of the yes. month where she has a bleeding Jane. Yes, the time of the month where she has to drink the bleeding Jane. E exactly. It is the time of the month where she has this specific drink. Yes. We don't need to read into this anymore. Correct. Oh, wait. Shit. Uh, ah, blended. We didn't blend it. Right. All right. And blend. There we go. Stop. Uh, nice. Raven and Ghost in chat says, Chinchillas are extinct in this world? No, oh, thank you. I'm going back to the past. Oh, yeah. Chinchillas are so sweet. Let me know if you need some help with that, Raven Ghost. <laughs> yes, Tiberius is a time. Uh, is a, what is you're not a time? What is, what is your official title? Uh, I refer to myself as a future man. Future man. That's right. Not time traveler. Future man. <laughs> yes. I specifically yes. avoid using the term time traveler because I do not do so regularly. Right. You're a time vacationer. <laughs> it's more of a research expedition, but more, I guess you could call it that. Uh, here. That time of the month, do Lilim menstruate? If you would be so kind, Sheps. I'm just, I'm just staring at the chat and like, I don't know. I don't know, chat. But maybe, maybe this game is just too much for me. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this anymore. <laughs> Well, we could go back. We could go to the Magic the Gathering card review idea. <laughs> I'm going to add. Wait, no, I, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. I'm not saying that. Nope. Nope. Zip. Zipping my lip. Yes, oil. <sighs> no, silly. We don't. There are a few. Okay, they don't. Thank God. It was a joke. It was a joke. Oh. Oh. Thank God. Oh. There are a few maintenance things we have to do every month, but those are a different story. Then what time of the month is it? The time when I feel like drinking a bleeding ch- We were exactly right. Time for you are a future man! 
<laughs> you knew this was gonna happen. Whoa! <laughs> you are a future man. Wow. So, how's business? Yeah, yes, well, quick, tell us the lottery numbers. <laughs> Unfortunately, those have been lost to time. Yeah, Somebody I think already you said that before. Those. Yeah, I think you already. I think you said that. Yeah, unfortunately, those are lost to time. Uh, the, all the records of lottery numbers are just gone. <laughs> now, I know in The Sims Three, there's a few, like you know, there's an expansion you can go into the future. Yep. You can actually see the records of lottery tickets and take them back to the past and get like a like a million dollars. It's ridiculous. It's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it breaks the it breaks the the whole. You have to work for a living, like stim uh, part of the life simulation, you know? A little bit, uh, probably, what? yeah. Yeah. Um, you'd be surprised by how many people get stuck by holiday depression and need some Dorothy in their lives. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Although it's also the season with the most competition. I didn't know you had competition. I, I mean, she told you before you had competition. Of course I do, both humans and Lillian. Half of them got the sexy Santa dress, and that's not fair. They were sold out. I wanted one too. But maybe it's better that way. How so? The other girls like the dress and skimpy clothes and show lots of skin. That scares off lots of people. I learned that the best way to maintain the regulars is just dress normally. That's... I don't know what to think about that. My, my favorite conspiracy theory is that lotteries are simply time traveler traps. You may be right. Like a government conspiracy. Yes. That's a that's a that's actually that's actually a valid theory. Yeah. You can just like capture the time traveler and tell uh, like have them uh, explain how they time travel. Yeah. I like that. Really? If I dress normally, they can just pretend I'm some uh, uh, acquaintance. No need to hide me until reaching the room. Hell, some even invite me to a dinner or a movie before anything else. Although I must say it's a bit hard to get the clients in the first place. They can't tell what I do at a glance. And the first time they see me after a call, they think I'm just making a prank or something. Ah, uh, I never saw it that way. Which reminds me, do you serve only humans or do you serve Lolan too? Humans only. But I do have an at least 40% organic policy. Interesting. 40%? Human from the neck up. Dicks preferably organic, but I can make exceptions. For females, I'm not so strict, though. Hmm. Why? Do you know someone that might be interested? Wide-eyed? Emoji? No, they're just mere curiosity. Well, your curiosity left me thirsty. Get me a blue fairy, a big one, would you? All right. All right. All a right. blue fairy big. Sit. Two flanner guide with optional karma trim. All aged and mixed. Indeed, indeed. There you go. Yeah, interesting that the game anyone... described her as being pink-haired. I didn't. I guess I didn't see that myself. Did you I describe see more her of as a... being pink? No, I see her more of a deep magenta. Hmm. A deep burgundy. Yeah, I am Maybe partially because... colorblind, so that that uh, it's a bit troublesome for me. But ah, oh. so yeah, I, I that's what. So you have a hard time like shiny hunting and Pokemon and stuff, and like. It's not, uh, I'm, it's a uh, red green color blindness and it's only, it's only partial basically Yeah. only like right. I can still distinguish d between red and green and all that, but I have yeah. like my ability to do so is less than normal basically. Gotcha. Gotcha. gotcha so gotcha, I can gotcha. still distinguish like reds and oranges and greens and all that, mm -hmm. but I have a more muted palette of such things. I committed a sin. I'm not. I'm not lurking on your chat. Hold on. I'm getting on your right. chat right now. Perfectly fine. 
we we all make mistakes. <laughs> there we go. And I am looking. Fantastic. All right. I hope my computer can help handle it because whenever I open up a video on um on Firefox while streaming, it doesn't like it. Yeah, I was gonna say you did your uh, your audio did clip there for a little bit, but you're fine I, now. I don't know what makes I don't know what causes that. I need someone to help me because I don't know where to work. I don't know where to look. It is a little bit odd. Personally, what I do, what I am doing right now, is I have popped out your chat and I close the actual like video window. That still counts as a lurk. I guess I guess I never looked into whether or not that counts. I assumed it did. Huh. But I guess I'm I guess I can't be sure of that now that I think about it. Huh. Okay. Well, anyway, if otherwise you could use your like phone or something if, if you've got one you're, handy. You're a genius. <laughs> you're you're a flipping genius. Okay. Thank you. Tiberius Vanderfield. Where are you? I'm right here. Go. Okay. Lurking. I wonder if there's if anyone has seen fairies after a couple of these. Some guy tested that by drinking as many as he could. He thought he saw one, but he was dizzy and thought what he'd seen was just was his puke. Oh. You know, earlier today there was a mega Christmas spirit around here. What about it? Uh, that I'm realizing I made a fuss about serving drinks to someone underage, but here I am. Nothing in particular, just a funny story. I have a funny story myself. It's the Mega Santa prank. Oh, the what? <laughs> it's a prank I pull every year. First, I pick a mall, wait for a day with lots of people. Then I go to Santa's lap, and then when he asks me what I want, I say in the most innocent tone I can muster, I want you to make me a woman. <laughs> Sometimes they try to cover it up. The little one wants to be a human. <laughs> it's then when I say, no, I want you. Oh my god. The succubus. <laughs> After that I say, well, at the very least, I want a dildo. A pink one. Or a very bumpy cucumber. <laughs> Sometimes I spice it up. Instead of cucumbers, I ask for a pony and a crane to lift him. <laughs> I once thought about screaming, Help! Oh, I'm being molested! That's not- This is- This is fucked up! Oh, you've, you've opened <laughs> I know, I, I- I- I know. <laughs> Jokes about rape are not funny! Don't that do is, that! That is, yeah. Don't do that! Funny. Don't say the R word knows, either. At least she <laughs> knows better. Uh, it was a prank. I didn't want to ruin this guy's life. Yeah! Don't say that shit! Don't say the R word either. I even said it, and I feel bad. How considerate. Although I did get a client that way, he became a regular soon after. Huh? But yeah. Three years and they still don't give that that's always me. Hold on, I gotta fix my screen one second. Gotcha. Okay. Oh yeah, how old are you? Old enough for anything you want. Wink wink, nudge nudge. Numbers. I need numbers. Are you really asking a girl her age that way? Okay, they tell me your age first. 27. Oh, fair. You didn't get fidgety or anything like that. That's because Fine. Jill is a normal person. <laughs> My model's designed to look between 10 to 13 years old. But uh, my last checkup said I'm until age is 24. Is she is old enough to do her taxes? But does she? That's the that's the real question. <laughs> I don't think she reports her income. And I don't think I don't think taxes are a thing anymore. I think in this in this future everything everything's just a 50 percent flat sales tax because it's all fucked. Maybe. How long since you've been deployed? 
That's a secret I'll keep with me. Fair enough. I expected you to get all uncomfortable talking about your age, though. Why didn't you? How dangerous everything's been lately? Every year you get matters. Getting old isn't a curse. It's an achievement. You should make a shirt with that. Because if you don't, I will. Feel free to do so. Do you want anything else? Let's see. Oh, a cobalt velvet. It's been a while since I've had one of those. All right. All right. Cobalt velvet. Two out of hot mm -hmm. flannel guide. And five comments. We haven't made one of these before, have we? Or have we? So. Maybe. It sounds vaguely familiar, but I don't. I don't think so. Hmm. All the rocks are mixed. I think uh, we have. Yeah, I that looks familiar. I, that looks familiar. Yeah, I recognize this weird cup. Cobalt Velvet. Yep, this is the one. Do you like it? I don't dislike it. Guess I'm not mature enough for these drinks. Hey, honey. What days to? What days today? Wednesday. No, the number. The number. Number 21. Shouldn't you know that? Oh, I'm a little I'm not a calendar. I thought you would know that much. Next time you're going to tell me to make some convoluted calculation. You can't? I could if I put my mind to it. But it's not something I have quick access to. Yes, I have an inner calendar and a calculator. Those are used in lots of other operations every second. I could do all that, but it's a lot quicker to just ask you. So it's like a walking AI smartphone. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, I guess, yeah, if you if you were an Android, you wouldn't you would probably have a phone or you could have a phone type device installed in you rather than having yes. to carry one around. That'd be convenient. Right. Maybe I could Let's get that see. integrated into my arm one of these days. <laughs> I don't... Now, most of my components, my cyborg components are explosives. Are explosive mm. in nature. Or being able to make explosives happen. So, I do have a cybernetic eye that lets me zoom in. Nice. Uh, other than that, um, yeah. Most of my stuff is explosive. I have a... Um, I have a liver that makes me, uh, lets me control how drunk I am. So I have a robotic, uh, I have a robotic liver. That nice. much I know from my lore. <laughs> yeah, all I've got is the arm. Gotcha. Why do you need the date though? I have something to do on the 26th. Oh my God. What does that mean? What does that mean up there? What happened? What is that? I don't know. It's an ad, I guess. No, the thing before the ad. <laughs> I, I know. I'm. I'm joking. Is that anyway. like? Is that Alice Rabbit? Maybe. We've anyway. seen. We saw her before. I think, didn't we? I. Th I. Th we did see her before hacking the screen. Yes. Um. Does the liver also explode? Um, every part of my body can explode to a certain degrees, yes. It explodes to uh, regenerate itself. That's what it does. Because mm. livers um, uh, do regenerate. I've been avoiding it for a while now. Oh, but don't worry. It's nothing dangerous or anything like that. Just heavy. Would you like some help? Would you help me? If you tell me what it is you need help with, maybe later. I have to go now. See you later. Bye. You think she really can't access calendars and calculators that easily? I guess it's kind of like how even if a text processor can access the computer's calendar, we don't use it for that. Why didn't you tell her you missed her yesterday? Forgot about it. I didn't find any cats. Why not look again? Good idea. <laughs> Oh. 
who is this Pokemon trainer looking guy? I was going to say, this girl? looks. This person looks like a Pokemon NPC. Uh, yes, uh, this green's Pokemon NPC, the hairstyle. It's the hairstyle. Yeah, it is, it is. Uh, uh, <laughs> it reminded me, it reminded me a little bit of the, uh, that one individual from Sun and Moon. Uh, she, the one with the, the Mudsdale, I don't remember her name. I didn't play Sun and Moon, unfortunately. Ah, fair enough. Yeah. I skipped a generation between um, uh, X and Y. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. Huh? Madrasi Another says her, her drivers are out of date. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Another kid? Maybe the bar got popular at some middle school? That would be a hassle. Oh, God, maybe I'm almost right. Right about what? Well, the other day I was asking her her opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing. Before the whole massive transmission hack thing. At some point, she talked about hacking became a fad and said, Imagine if suddenly a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. And today, there have been two kids already. I think this is a Pokemon uh, protagonist, actually, considering that they don't talk. <laughs> How would bartending become a fad? Maybe a cartoon? Kids' cartoons don't show any alcohol. True. Um, excuse me, miss. This is no place for kids, so you should... Um... Gail, she's staring too much, and she's saying nothing. Help! Not ordering anything, she's not causing trouble, and there's nothing inappropriate here. I mean, nothing inappropriate aside from alcohol, but alcohol is everywhere anyways. So what do you suggest? Let her be? Maybe she's just curious about the bar? saying nothing. Maybe she's curious and shy? Also, it's rude to speak about people you have in front of you like they can't hear you. <sighs> yeah. Jill? Yeah. How did I startle you? What do you, what do you want? Can you help me out here with a beer? Right. A beer for Gil. Haven't I seen that girl before? She's standing there menacingly. <laughs> <laughs> She's standing there menacingly. <laughs> this one powder delta. Is this Valhalla? No. This is this is Gil. <laughs> uh, one powder delta, the armor train all mixed. That's right. I, I should know how to make this by now. Yep. There we go. There. Thanks. I'll go ahead. Thanks. Lower your guard a bit, please. Oh, yeah. Before I forget, disposal unit comes on Sunday. Do you have any inspired ingredients on your side? All oh, right, yeah. Um, there's a bottle of Karmatrin that's like a month old. Put it by the sink so I remember to dispose of it. Thanks. Hey, miss. What? Oh, what? Yes? Are you happy? I am I happy? Well... That's kind of a weird question. I'm not sad. I guess. I'm not jubilant, but you're not gonna you're not gonna put me in a cult, are you? Are you not gonna you're not gonna say that, you know, you have friends and they are all happy and stuff? No. I mean, are you happy with your life? With your choices? She's gonna ask me to join a cult, isn't she? 
<laughs> Deep question. I mean, I might have one or two regrets, but I guess I could. it could be worse. Regrets? Yeah, I mean, don't we all? I see. Um... Hey, Jill? That's... That's something, like, a, a murderer would ask someone before they shoot you, you know? Like, are you happy with your life choices? Have you ever seen, um... Uh, no Country for Old Men? I am not. <laughs> One thing you will uh, learn about me is that I've seen no movies, basically. Oh, uh, he reminds me of the villain from that movie. Hmm. A very cold, calculating killer who asks questions like that. Mm. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Again? Aren't you a bit on edge? Maybe. What do you want? Didn't you borrow the screwdriver the other day? The, Hello, Kling Clang. I, hey, Kling Clang. Hey, Jordan. How you doing? Welcome in. Yeah, I, I had a lot of fun with um, had a lot of fun with Shante. Everyone. Important announcement. Oh. Nope. Uh, important announcement for everyone in chat. Jordan bought me Shante. Oh, very nice. And a plushie of Shante. <laughs> important announcement. I don't get to use that often. <laughs> 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 so yes thank you so much jordan for the gift yes i decided to play it because you know uh you know if what's a game what's a game in your library if you're never going to play it i mean it's a waste of space <laughs> thank you jordan uh so uh yeah thank you again uh how was your day how was work how was work jordan tell me how it was i did why I forgot to take those coins from the arcade in the corner last week. So I needed to take them out. Oh, let's see. Here. It's not like they see much action these days anyways. Jump change is still money. Pocket change has saved me many times. Uh, blah. I have to go back in the morning. Oh, you, clo you close mm -hmm. today and you go back in the morning? You're not. You need to get some Tragic sleep. Fate. Uh, yeah. What? You throwing at someone's face while escaping? That only happened once, and the old lady started it. <laughs> right. Why does an arcade still use coins nowadays, or physical money? When you got, when you get down to it. For the reason it still arcade still exists, nostalgia. Maybe. Hey. Miss. Uh, yeah? Do you recognize me? She's my ex. Is uh, she my ex? Hold on. Hold on. We, ha we have established that she appears to be a child. That should... Maybe... Probably not. Oh! Are you sure she's a child, though? We don't know that she is, but she's been described as looking like one. So maybe we shouldn't assume that right off the bat. We'd also we also established that Jill has an ex, and maybe she's pretending. Maybe she's hiding something. Maybe. I have to go. Yeah. I want to say I do, but uh, sorry. Really, you can't remember your sister. own sister's face. Sister sister but i don't have any sis sister not even a sister-in-law no way gabby is that really you god i'm so sorry but you just grew up so much since i last saw you how long has it been three years right so you know her? Yeah, she's actually my girl, my ex's sister. I was close. You were. You I was were, close. You were one generation off. Yes. 
So, how have you been doing? That's not generation. That, never mind. I know what you meant. Yeah. I actually had to transfer schools, and I managed to skip a grade thanks to the admission tests. I'll be out of middle school next year. You've always been a smart one, so it's no surprise. Have you thought about what you wanted to study in college? You always said you wanted to be a scientist. I don't know yet. I guess I still have a couple of years to think about that. Don't feel pressured about that. Maybe you'll need a sabbatical year? So, how's Lenore? Wait, who's Lenore? Her sister. She's, um... She was my girlfriend. So you actually had a relationship with something that's not a cat? Tell me surprised. Punch Gil in the face. Hey, don't cut talk shit about my baby. <clears throat> so, how's Lenore doing? Tip. She's dead. Sorry, I don't think I heard that right. My sister is dead, Jill. She died last Saturday. I came all this way to tell you the news. This is the wrong music. This is, yeah, this is not, not great music for the situation. Troubling news. That there sounds about right. Come on, Gabby, stop fooling around. No. You stop fooling around. I mean, wow. My sister was left to suffer her disease all alone while you were all merry here, mixing drinks and chatting. Wait, Lenora was sick of what? Since when? Localized nanomachine rejection gave her a heart attack. She started complaining about chest pains not long after you left. Was all the talk about getting your freedom worth it, Jill? Was your right to be married worth the life of my sister? Why are you lashing out me like that? Did I infect her with the disease that I killed her? No, but it's too much of a coincidence that she started getting worse and worse right after you left. She got visibly sick after your fight, and I'd be no surprise if that fight played a key role in killing her. But that's just speculation. You can't expect... All of that because you wanted freedom. What kind of freedom is so enticing that it makes you hurt a nice three-year-old relationship? Was this freedom so important you cut all contact with us? Was this freedom so good you left everything behind? Was this freedom worth the life of my... Shut up! I didn't kill your sister, for fuck's sake. It's not like I affected her with that nanomachine rejection. Hell, this is the first time I've ever heard of you as sick. And do you really know what kind of fear drove me to that kind of argument with your sister? Do you even understand the fear of feeling your youth slip through your fingers? Do you think it was all easy for me? I was scared. I was I'm still scared. I need to grab a I need to grab a hold of my life. But it has nothing to do with your sister. I I loved her. Do you think that fight didn't hurt me too? I... Idiot. Ah! I... I'll make sure that, Gil, that girl gets to wherever she wants to go safely. Meanwhile, Chief... I know. Welcome in, Maid Maru. <laughs> you just witnessed a very intense scene of this game. How are you doing tonight? In indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was going to shoot me through Madrasity. <laughs> she definitely seemed like she wanted to. Come on, Jill. Let's take you home. Home sweet home. Hey, Jill, you want to grab something to eat? 
I'm not hungry. Want me to come in, keep you company? I'm fine. I'm just... I just need to be alone for a bit. Jill? You can tell me what you're feeling. It's okay. It's not okay! It's... It's not. Come here, Jill. I'm here. It's just... I feel like a part of me is crumbling right now. My old girlfriend was sick and I didn't know anything about it. Her sister came to deliver the news and she held nothing but animosity for me. And not only that, but I lashed out at her too. History fucking repeats itself. If we haven't cowered back then and apologized. If it wasn't such a selfish little shit. Maybe. Maybe. Thanks, boss. I really needed this. You want me to stay with you today? Thanks. But I actually need some time for myself. Some me time to put my thoughts in order. Yeah, I, I understand. Don't do anything funny, you hear me? Any weird thoughts come to you if you feel too anxious, call me. Yeah. Hey, four, she's in your care, you hear? Yeah. Remember to call me. I'll call you later to check on you other um on you nonetheless. Oh my god. That was that was a day at work, wasn't it, huh? I I was not expecting that, and I actually teared up a little bit. Mm. I, I, the emotions poured into my heart, and I actually cried a little bit mm. with Bill. <laughs> uh, this soundtrack has the same composer as my f other favorite game. What's your other favorite game? My Mar uh, Electricity Bill will be sent out on the 24th. Please make sure you have the 8,000 needed. Oh, Jill smiled a bit at the cutesy poster. Good, we're making her happy. I guess, yeah, we must have uh, preempted her, her need for something there. Oh, maybe we did. Yuppie Psycho. Oh, I watched another hmm. VTuber play that. I've heard of it's, that game. It's an RPG maker horror game. Um, I, um, I don't know. Horror is not my thing, but... For uh, Made Morrow, is it's um, since it's like your other favorite game. For someone who enjoys RPG Maker type games, but doesn't really like horror, <laughs> would you still like suggest it? I'm a variety streamer, by the way. I just play all sorts of games. So if that's a game that I mean, you think I don't know. You just met, but I'm just wondering what what's your what's your thoughts on Yuppie Psycho? Because uh. I watched another VTuber, Jenny VTuber. Jenny played it. Mm. And uh, it looks like she had a lot of fun with it. Uh, Yuppie Psycho, I love it so much. I gotta know. I gotta look. I gotta look that up. Maybe I had the wrong impression about it. I would watch anyone play it. Did you enjoy it? I... Um, I mean, I like this game. I didn't, I never, I never played it. That's why I'm asking you. Um, but, uh, yeah, J Jenny, when, when I watched Jenny play it, yeah, it looked a lot of fun, but I didn't want to be spoiled. So I didn't watch too much of it. So like, I don't like, I don't like watching story driven games because what if I eventually want to play it myself, you know? Mm. You should, you should but use that... the technique that I use, which is to be incredibly forgetful. Of being converted. Yes. Just have a watch, very watch some <laughs> have a very poor long term memory. That's how I do it. Gotcha. You also like Witch's House a lot. Witch's House is really good too. I played that. Um uh there's some horror I do not like. And um I played I played through um 
like a Mori. Like a Mori is so, a game I'm trying to avoid because it has a lot of themes that I don't agree with and are pretty triggering. Mm. Um, but Witch's House was a little it was kind of harmless, so I I played that. Um, there was this one other game. I'm trying to remember what the game is. Uh, the, the title of it. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, it was off. I played through off. And mm. that's not really... Off is not really a... Um, off is not really a horror game, but it does have creepy aspects to it. And I enjoyed that game a lot. Um, anything that's more like... Like cerebral horror, like makes you think... Makes you like makes you feel unpleasant. That that's the kind of horror I enjoy. Um, but off is really good. Have you ever heard? Have you ever played off, Tiberius? I have never played off. No, I have basically zero tolerance for horror. Oh, you have zero tolerance for horror. Okay. Yeah, because like, like straight up, if I get like stressed and stuff, I will I will hallucinate. Shit. Yeah. Uh, so I do not I do not do horror. Yes, psychological horror. That's it. That's the word. Yes, psychological. I like psychological horror, not the jump scare bullshit. You know. Yeah, but anyway, I, yeah, I do not. I do not do horror. So uh, unfortunately, I cannot contribute to this conversation in a meaningful way. Horror VTubers, lots of horror VTubers. I am an explosion VTuber. Um, I don't know <laughs> if that counts. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I mean, I did play. Um, the one game where you go underwater, ah, shit. Soma, Subnautica, I think. oh, Soma, oh. oh yeah, Soma. I think I, I think yeah. I saw you play Soma for a little bit. Yeah, I, I didn't. I need to, pl I need to, I need to fix that. I played it for Halloween because uh, thalassophobia and deep waters are like a big fear of mine. And I was like, I'm gonna play something that actively scares the fuck out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's that sounds familiar. I think I was there for part of that stream. I definitely wasn't there for much of it because I also have the lassophobia. I think yeah. I stuck around until such a point as you were like actually entering the ocean. Yeah, I was hyperventilating. <laughs> yeah, and I yeah, as soon as I saw that you were going to be underwater, I I left pretty quick if I remember correctly. Yeah, I did not enjoy that. Um, I was walking. I wasn't running. I know there's a sprint button. I wasn't using it. I was. <laughs> there's something. Uh, there's something in the fog, isn't there? There's something in the deep water. I can't see it. It's just a giant monster. It's just going to pop out and eat me. <laughs> that's my. That's that was my. What's going through my mind the entire time. Hmm. Uh, but anyway, uh, Maid Maru, I appreciate you stopping by, but the, we we're doing a day. Uh, we're doing a uh, a day of stream. So we just finished one day, so we're going to call it here. Um, let me let me remember let me remember to save yes, it. Do not, yeah, do not forget to save. Yeah, I forgot to save, and I had to speed run through day eight. <laughs> Fortunately, I was having some technical difficulties, so we we managed to uh, we managed to use our time efficiently by getting that done while I was troubleshooting. Right. But yeah. Hope you all enjoyed yourselves. Indeed. Um, yeah. Tomorrow I might be streaming some Splatoon. Splatoon. Nice. And uh, yeah. Uh, this, by the way, Maru, this is one of my my many models. I have other models as well. So uh, uh, I someone redeemed uh, me turn into a squid kid. So that's what I did. <laughs> so um, yeah. Uh, Tiberius, do you um, have any plans? What do you have anything to shout out or shamelessly promote? Let's see. So yeah, so I've been I've not been streaming for a little while, so I'm getting back into things here. This is actually yeah, I think this is my first stream in a couple of weeks. But okay. uh, yeah, tomorrow I think I think I'm going to be playing some Pokemon Snap tomorrow. Oh, yeah. the new one? No, the old one. The old one. Okay, that's yes. still legit. Yeah, normally on Friday I would be playing some Tales of Arise, but it's been longer since I played Pokemon Snap, so I, I want to do that. Okay. Basically. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. 
Yep. I'll look forward to that. All right. Well, th uh, thanks for the shout out for Tiberius. Yeah. Yes. Go check them. Go check out. He's going to be playing some Pokemon Snap. And tomorrow I'll probably be playing some Splatoon, doing some more catalog grinding. And I uh, hope to see you then. And, and I guess uh, also, to uh, to be more specific, I'll be streaming probably about 7.30 p.m. Central Time, in case anyone was okay. interested. All right. Yes, look forward to that. Um, let's go ahead and raid someone. Indeed. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, do you have anyone in particular in mind, Sheps? I have a friend named Physicist. I haven't, I haven't raided into them yet. They're a, they're a loyal follower of mine. So um, if you if you don't uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to uh, street uh, right into physicist. Please, by all means, I will need the username though. Yes, it's not spelled how you think it's spelled. Um, let me see. I know I've I've seen the name physicist around. I don't. Yeah, I definitely don't know how to spell it, but I know it's not spelled like the profession. Right. Um. Hold on, give me a second. Where are you? There you are. I'm here. Uh, you are there. Uh, it is P H Y I Z I S I S T. Thank you kindly. Yeah. And they're currently playing Pizza Tower, which was recently released. Hmm. I believe it is a um, a Wario clone, hmm. a Wario Land clone. I think I might have heard of that one. Yeah, Vinny played it. Uh, Vinny mm -hmm. Vine Sauce. And, it, um, I mean, he's a big fan of Nintendo, so obviously it's a game he would play. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. Let's head on over to Physicist Stream. Mm -hmm. All right, everyone. <laughs> thanks for stopping by, and thanks for rating, uh, rating of the Oops. board for the raid today. Hold on, I think really I, pre I typed the raid, raid in the wrong chat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. All right, now I'm going to raid. So, uh, physicist, I believe, is a brain in a jar, but I don't think they they have a reactive PNG, but I don't think they have an actual model yet. So, uh, give them some love from a v from a one VTuber to another. Indeed. Uh, anything? La any last thing you want to say, uh, Tiberius? Well, uh, nothing springs to mind immediately, so I think I'll just go with the usual end off. Thank you all for being here tonight. I hope you have had a fine night. I hope that you'll continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much and farewell. The customary raid yep. message is, as always, we have arrived. Of course, you chefs have your own, but uh, that is what it is for me. Yep. All right. Uh, 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 my ending closing message is um, uh, do some push-ups. Hustle. Uh, work, take care of yourself. Don't get don't don't get flabby. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.